everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm going to be building this wall. Not this wall, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. I did a bit of no recording crap. So I moved all the bunnies up here. God, that took a long time. But um, yeah, I decided to move these up here. Start moving things up here. Move the skin racks. Ah, some of the food. That's all over there. Oh, this. I can't believe you can do this. You can attach uh, ceiling lights to the crane. It just never come to me that you could do that. But yeah, that's going to be cool. It's going to make it look really good if I can do all of them. Place um, some uh, stick holders here so I can offload them and keep going. Now, if you're wondering, if you're rather new to this, why I built my floors like that to make them flat, this is why. Look at me jump around like that. You get airborne. It's so annoying. I'm a bit of a perfectionist like that. But yeah, I'm just getting prepped for the wall. Gonna need sticks and logs. Gotta love this auto hotkey thing. It's godsend. But yes, it happens when your logs, your floors are too wide, the planks are too wide. It starts doing really bumpy crap. And it's purposely done by the developers. God knows why, but it is. So, here we are. I'm gonna remove these trees. We'll start here. Clear this bit. Now, I don't know if anyone's done this before. So, I'm, I've never done it before either. Usually I like to test things, but not this time. What it is... It's using dead fall traps as your wall and facing them towards them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be trying to space them far enough apart that they won't be able to get through. And a good way to test that is if I can get through, they can get through. Well, mutants can't, but they can. So one more log for this one. Uh, and let's see. I can, oh, I can get through that. that. Actually, looks quite cool the way that is. So, I think the space of that. This is all trial and error. I don't mind. So, let's go same with it's the gap between there. For those who don't know, cannibals can't damage traps, but they can damage defensive walls. So it's a bit of a you know, why not go this route? That way you don't have to build walls and defense. Though, this is a test. I don't know if it's gonna work. We will discover it together. I think there's a lot of strategy in this game for using trees and logs for what they're closest to. So here, it's closest to where I'm gonna be building my defense. So I might as well use these to build defense. Also, another thing, <laughs> if you ever got damage destruction mode turned is it off? If an armsy knocks down a tree, it could take out your wall. So it's best to use the logs and the trees first. Get rid of them. But this wall's probably going to go up in no time. I should be testing these, building them in little sections. Now I figured these are three logs and a defensive wall. Stretch it out as far as I can get it, to be fair. See, it's about the same width. Because if you build them like this, they're much closer together. So yeah. Okay, so let's test this. Oh, I can still get through there. Can't get through here. Ooh. You really gotta nitpick it. So, it's a learning experience. I honestly thought it was gonna be a bit more generous. Might as well place some more. Also, with this, I'll be able to see what's on the other side with defensive walls you cannot see through them should be able to add little peak holes so you can see there we go it's gonna be an interesting looking wall always like trying something new there we go some more done ah you bastard I already tripped one. 
<laughs> Gotta be careful with this. Here we go. There we go. So that's half of it done. Looks rather menacing. No friggin' sticks. So this, this side has to be done. And it's just turned night time. That took me about 15, 20 minutes, if you were wondering. And I'm gonna have to do all this. Otherwise, I'll just walk around all that. So I already found a problem with it. You can't reset it from behind it. So, should have left gaps where I could sneak past it. There was one, so what I might do is just mark it. Find it. It's here. There we go. Time to place the rest. Okay, so trees are in the way here, so I'm gonna have to take them down. Oh, that's all good, because it's just gonna help me more. Oh, this tree, man. Right on the edge. You wanna be able to catch the logs? Probably not. Ah, he passed it. <laughs> uh, is it worth going and getting them? That's the thing. I got the dock down there, so I could just drop them off there. What I might do is start curving it down this way a little bit. So a little bit at a time. Okay, they're finally here. And I haven't got the wall done in time. A little bit frustrating. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I can lead him this way. So I'm going to lead him to the where I place that little entryway. Okay, that worked. And they're taking off. Oh, fish are here. This is how you fish in the forest. Very realistic. Okay, now they're going to start showing up. So I've got to get my act to gear and finish this wall. Let's place the sticks on it. Okay, this is not good. I'm stuck, and there's a cannibal here. Ah. It's coming down. Say goodbye to your husband. Come for you now. Ah, got him. Oh, her? What's going on? Who died? I'm probably not going to bother with a gate. I'm going to figure out a way to get over the top of it, as well as log carts. Place those sticks. Now I'm really going to have to get this moving. Hopefully this is enough. Oh, it's got another one. I think with walls, you generally learn that they will go for one spot more than another. So it can be pretty easy to manage it. Jeez, they're already starting to pile up. Oh, that got rid of them quick. Oh, <laughs> looks like it's working well. Though, I'm starting to wish I left a bigger gap. We can get to him a bit easier. Come, friend. I might just kill him. I don't know. Oh, stealth attack. This is working better than I expected it to, but lessons learned. If you're going to do this, make sure you leave a big enough gap between the deadfall traps. Uh-oh. 
Oh, so close. Jesus, heaps here. This is going to take ages to scoop them all. Ah, need to be more careful. Starting to run out of logs. Build another one here. No place two. Get these bodies. Okay, that's the last of the sticks, I believe. Shit. <laughs> Freaking hell, I've got to pay attention. Uh, let's get costly bone armor. It's two pieces each time it hits me. Well, that is not good. I think deer are going to stop spawning once I block off the route. Usually what happens. Oh, we'll see. I'm in a bit of a rush to get this wall done, so I'm just going to use dynamite for now. Uh, hopefully this can get four trees. Yep, got four. Thank you for landing where I wanted you to. Almost done. Just got this last little bit to do on here. I'm going to get the log carts in this gap here, and then I'm done. The true test. The true test is how well it's going to do against mutants. True. True. Last couple. I can't imagine they're going to come down this way, but oh well. You build a defensive wall, they'll come down here to attack it. Screw that. I want you to come to my deadfall traps. Use these leftover sticks to make another log cart. Too lazy to go and get one. Oh, another one. It's killing even when I'm not here. Okay, so the game despawned all my bones. Thanks for that. That's probably a good 20 something there. Das ist scheiße. Okay, last one. I'm not going to bother with a gate yet. I'm going to see how this works. So I might have to clear a section. Don't even know yet. I miss the days when you were able to climb these things. It was before they patched them. I'm going to mark it here with a small rock wall. But it's this one. I want to put lamps out there. Not yet, anyway. I was thinking an idea you could do is spread them further apart and place one defensive one wall. And cannibals are magnets to it. They'll go for it, so they'll run into the deadfall traps. I haven't tested that yet, but I'd imagine it would work. Get some fish. The cone flower down here. I'm churning through cone flower. I'm gonna have to make a garden soon. Good shot. Ah, oh, crap. Too much rabbit skin. Hmm. These traps are still working. I don't really need rabbits anymore. I've got enough. For those who are wondering why I'm not using happy birthday traps, because they use rope. And I don't want to waste rope on happy birthday traps. And they're also not very good against mutants. Deadfall traps are really good against mutants. Honestly, don't know if happy birthday traps really do any damage to them. I never actually confirmed if they did. Ah, this. My things have bugged out. I had bodies on here, now they've disappeared. Still registered that they're on here. Like this one. But then it goes away. I don't know. Weird. Found those logs. There's two of them. I don't know where the other two are. Ah, found them. Ah, oh, forgot I built this here. Get rid of it. I'm gonna take down this soul tree. Just no need for it. Blocking my view. Guess I see them come this way. I can do something. Watch them. I don't know. Okay, they're up here. Come on. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Oh, you're so lucky. 
Got him. The rest of them pissed off. Trying something new with dropping logs. Seems to be working well. So I run along, drop one, and drop two. And they all roll down like that. Seems to be working well. I'm going to get this one. That's realistic. <laughs> oh, the logs are up there. Walk over and speed them up. Oh, I speed things up a bit. Speeded? Sped? You speed. Okay, I've loaded up the boat. As much as I can bother to. Pretty full. It's a shame I can't get it closer. That would be most handy. I'm really liking this system. I get to get logs and resources a lot of different ways. I'm not restricted to just zip lines like I was in the last playthrough. I need to build a dock here, I think. Because every time I try to get sticks, the boat runs away, but I don't wanna I don't wanna block my way. So I have to be careful because docks are expensive, eh? Wish there was a easy way to do this. Gotta work with what we got though. Have to build stairs there because it's getting annoying. The simple stairs I don't sit well on flat surfaces. Okay, one more. Go. Get up. A little shitty there, but um, I'll be able to fix it up later on. That, that's full. Taking this up. Here we go. I'm going to build hanging ceiling lamps around this. Just work out how to do it without doing it on each one because it's going to be expensive otherwise. Okay. So this is what I've been doing. Like this. Quite therapeutic. The reason I did this is so I can just dump it off when I'm when it's all done. As for logs, I haven't sorted out something there. It also acts as a, a fence to stop me from falling off on that side. It's so, it's not so much the sign. You ever wondered what those noises are? That's deer. So I haven't been attacked since I've been away from here. No mutants came, I was up here for ages too, they just stopped coming after I completed it. Anyway, that's enough for one episode. Next one, I'm going to be building a cave garden right at the top of my base up here. It's going to be tricky, I'll get it done. Anyway, if you like this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.